Ever since Apple launched the App Store for iOS, its two ecosystems have lived in largely separate worlds. While all iOS apps are purchased through the curated store unless you jailbreak your phone, the macOS equivalent is a veritable ghost town. Apple wants to change that by allowing developers to design unified apps that work as well on a desktop as they do on a mobile device. This is Apple's way of dealing with consistent complaints about the way the macOS store is often ignored, according to Reuters. Instead of asking developers to build two entirely different applications for the two platforms, they'll be able to target both. The end result is that macOS apps should be updated far more often and offer better feature sets. Keep in mind, this fusion only applies to apps downloaded from the App Store. If you're using third-party products or downloading from websites, this doesn't affect you. Can Apple pull this off? Apple's new project, codenamed Marzipan, sounds similar to the efforts Microsoft has made over the years. It's worth revisiting what Microsoft was attempting to accomplish and why it failed. Windows 8 was designed to offer a touch-friendly UI that could scale to a 32-inch monitor or run comfortably on a phone screen. It didnt offer a unified developer framework the way Apple is considering that came later, with Windows 10 Mobile, but Metro apps were supposed to scale easily across different screen sizes. This really didnt work. It was a great idea on paper, but it largely failed in practice. Apps designed for small screens worked poorly on large ones. The sandbox requirements for Windows Store apps and macOS as well mean many apps aren't as capable as the full-size versions you can buy or download directly from an ISV. In some cases, using a browser still provides a better experience than a dedicated app, though this depends on the application. With that said, there are obvious differences between Apple's position today and Microsoft's with Windows 8 or Windows 10. Before it cancelled Windows 10, Microsoft was trying to woo desktop and popular iOS, Android app vendors to build programs for its tiny phone business. Apple is leveraging a highly successful iOS market to build apps for macOS. From Apple's perspective, it may make more sense to bring mobile UIs to desktops, rather than designing separate apps for both. Apple's iPhone business dwarfs its Mac sales, but we don't know how many people buy an iPhone first and a Mac later. It may make good sense to standardize on a UI, if only to present would-be buyers with a familiar experience. There are plenty of people who will laugh off the question arguing Microsoft failed because it was Microsoft, and that Apple is destined to do better. I can't comment on the latter, the markets and products are different, the customer base is different, and expectations are different. But as far as the former goes, Windows 8's various design failures weren't failures at all on a tablet. Many of the OS's most annoying issues became sensible design decisions if you were navigating with a finger on a small screen instead of a mouse on a large one. Microsoft's effort to stretch one UI to encompass two very different methods of interacting with technology failed because that gap is hard to cross, not because it's incapable of designing a solid UI. Apple may well do better. We'll have to wait and see.